Hi. I think it's because the sun is going down, so the lighting is being a little bit weird, but anyway. Tom Scientology Bride tells all. Oh gosh, thank goodness for that. The truth about my marriage. Oh look at it, my husband got a haircut. Women are so many things. Perfect and pleasing. Those things aren't possible. They're not sustainable. Women are everything. Unique, beautiful, and important. Oh, I just love that. It's in a small. Oh, I wish they had that in a medium. Oh, I just love it. I just, I love those colors. Oh, good gravy. I want it. <laughs> to see you. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. So happy March. <laughs> and if it's March, then it is February favorites time. And I had a, I had a good February. I found some really cool things in February. And I'm kind of excited to show you some of the things uh, that I found. You know, sometimes it's, um, it's kind of nice when I can share something with you that I like, but a few of these things I, I kind of fell in love with. So anyway, you want to go through my February favorites today? Okay, let's do this. So in February, I found a lot of cool things. I found a new toothpaste that protects my enamel uh, of my teeth. It's called Tom's of Maine uh, Toothpaste. This is cruelty free. Uh, it does not foam up a lot when you're brushing your teeth. Um, I use a good amount of it when I brush my teeth, but it promises in two weeks you'll have whiter teeth, and I saw whiter teeth in a week. The next product that I fell in love with in February is a styling lotion for my hair, and it is from Shea Moisture, not Shea Mountain. I always call it Shea Mountain, but it's Shea Moisture, and this, uh, this styling lotion is... Um, this is a restoring type of styling lotion, so it's not really, I don't think of it really as a styling lotion, but more of as a leave-in conditioner, but it's a styling lotion. Anyway, it has black Jamaican castor oil in it and peppermint. And it is so luxurious. It's under $10, and it just, it smells so wonderful, and look at that, ooh, it just... I know I'm getting excited about hair styling lotion, but it is so thick and wonderful and you kind of just work it through your hair and there's no frizz and it's shiny. And what I have noticed what has started to happen is when I go to wash my hair the next day after I use um, this particular styling lotion is I don't have to use a conditioner. I'm letting you know this heart's on the edge. People really like the Boots Number no. Seven Company, and and they have a night serum that has won more awards than any other serum, and I've never even tried it. I have to do that. 
But anyway, Boots Number no. 7 has a subsidiary company called uh, CYO, and uh, that line of cosmetics is cruelty free. You can find them online or at Walgreens, and none of the products are over $7. So I thought that was pretty cool, especially that they were cruelty free. And before Christmas, I came across the CYO uh, Cream Blush Palette. It's a highlighter and blush. And I fell in love. I fell in love so much I actually took a picture of it and put it on Instagram. <laughs> but I, I really liked it a lot. I have actually not been able to uh, find that palette again. But anyway, I digress. So, in knowing that they were cruelty free, I thought I would go ahead and um, go ahead and purchase five or six of their products for you, and see what we think of them. So last month I picked up the CYO Primer, and this is a dupe for the Benefit Pore Professional, and this is a really interesting primer. Um, not only it it really is this is more like the Benefit professional than anything I have ever tried. You just sort of like tap it in under your makeup and it's like, oh really? Did I have pores? But the thing about this is after you have your makeup on and before you have your setting spray, before you put on your setting spray, you can kind of tap it in wherever you think it doesn't look perfect and it fills the, the pore up or the line up and I know the benefit uh, professional used to do that for me too. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I picked up the CYO foundation and this this foundation it feels like there's nothing in this bottle. Uh, it's very lightweight but it is a very heavy duty uh, foundation. So if you have rosacea or if you have a bad breakout or if you want to it's a little bit like putting concealer on your face as a foundation and there may be days where you're saying you know what I really wish I had a concealer I'm having one of those days today but anyway what I did is I used uh, a booster with it for illumination because it's a little too matte for me and I also used the CYO primer with it and I used a little bit of rose hip seed oil and then uh, applied it that way and I'm telling you when you put this on your face it's not moving and whatever you want it to cover it'll cover so last month I also picked up the CYO setting spray and as I've gotten older setting sprays are truly my friend because I can't use you know heavy powder to set my makeup so I lean very heavily on setting sprays and I love my rose my rose water so much and so I use my rose water and then if I'm going somewhere really special I'll use a setting spray and I have some pretty high-end setting sprays actually um, this one is smells great Ooh, nice cool mist and I like this setting spray a lot it's not matte it's not dewy it's just you spray this on and it gives you a nice clean feel and your makeup's going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Lastly, in February, I picked up some lip products by CYO. I picked up uh, two lipsticks and then a plumping lip gloss. And the two lipsticks that I picked up, one is called Living Together, which is so close to a Tom Ford color. I can't believe it. And these lipsticks by CYO are so creamy and so wonderful. They are now my favorite lipsticks in the drugstore. But so the CYO lipstick I got is called Living Together. It's a nude, but it's so pretty. I, and I don't wear a lot of nudes, but wow, it's really, really beautiful with a lip gloss over it. And the other one that I picked up is called Rekindling. And I fell in love, mad, mad love with the shade of Rekindling. So I also picked up the plumping lip gloss and this is called Speaks Volumes and it it plumps your lips. In fact, when I first used this, 
um, it seemed like my top lips maybe swelled just a little bit like a little duck anyway I have kind of large lips anyway so I don't know what I'm doing with a lip plumper <laughs> but I like it as a gloss I thought it was real pretty but the star of the shows are the CYO lipsticks I I'm really anxious to 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 find out if you try them and, and if you like them but yeah that really does plump my lips I don't know how I feel about that <laughs> I don't know so I would be remiss if I didn't mention that in February I started using the lipstick elf uh, in the color uh, Bordeaux Beauty and for some reason you guys really like that shade I, I was asked more in February what lipstick are you using than in any other month that I've been on YouTube so there's something about that color Bordeaux Beauty that you really like You should hit me with a splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? We can party till the sun's down. Baby, let me buy you a drink while we dance in a blink. I can go for some wee wee chill, wee wee chill, wee wee chill. Hey, baby. love for February is an eyeshadow palette that I started wearing a few weeks ago and it's called Comfort Zone. It's, uh, it's a new one by Wet n Wild. They say that they try to dupe the Viseart palettes. I don't know because I don't have a lot of fancy. I have a few nice palettes but not Viseart. Um, but the colors in this, I showed a close-up of it last week and I'll show a close-up of it again this week. But you know, I don't really fuss a lot with my eyes. I just, you know, do a little bit of shimmer and, and then sort of paint them with my finger. But um, the two rust colors in this palette are so pretty. They're so understated. And for a mature woman, I think they're just so dramatic and so pretty. So this was my very, very favorite palette of February. And I got compliments on it, too, for like the first time. People were saying, what's your crease color? And I'm like, really? <laughs> Somebody's asking me what my crease color is, you know, because I'm kind of not known for my talent of doing my eyes, but I loved it. I, I, I love the colors. It makes me kind of, you know, want to investigate the Viseart palette. So, yeah, those are my favorites for February. I had such a good time. Whenever I remember you all think of interrupting Mormons at their prayer. I'll think of falling snow and rising steam Oh, I'll think of running fast, running scared I wish come back to Nashville, Maine In February, I found a new channel and the name of the channel is Awesome After 50 and the star of the channel is a beautiful woman named Heather and she was uh, quite a famous 80s model absolutely so stunningly beautiful and she still is stunningly beautiful and she has a channel and her husband Bill who is a complete doll uh, he helps her with her channel he's the cameraman and um, her channel is it's whimsical it's happy uh, she she gives us tips I mean real tips she has she has a, a, a blog and the blog is attached to her YouTube channel so she doesn't really do reviews she she more or less just goes through more of the process of how you use products and then you can you can go over to her blog and find out what products she's really talking about but she's so lovely and I love her fashion I love her makeup tips I love how she holds up a picture of herself when uh, when she was modeling in the 80s but she makes me happy and whenever I leave a comment I always just say you know I hope you never stop making videos because you make me so happy she makes me feel so good about being in my 60s I also wanted to make sure that you knew about a channel uh, that I have always known as uh, Mel's uh, 
Makeup Mayhem. <laughs> uh, I know she's changed the name of her channel and I'll list it below. Um, but her name is Melissa and she's a beautiful dark haired beauty and she does real makeup tutorials. They are incredible. And she also does skincare tutorials. And she also does videos about her life. I'll, I'll list a video below that she did on her birthday and every time I think about it I, I, I cry. So I'm not going to think about it. I'll just list it below. But she's not just a beautiful woman outside, but she's such a fascinating woman. And she's so willing to talk about her life and open up her heart. And you can just you can you can feel her energy and and, and how she is moving along uh, with her journey. So I'm fascinated by her and she even wrote her own theme song which is like I don't know anybody who's done that <laughs> but I think the world of her she was one of the first people that reached out to me when I first started YouTube I will list her channel below and if you if you go over there uh, check her out and please say hello to her from Little Poet thank you <laughs> are you taking a bath before we go to bed I think that's good of you, Des. You know, we have to be at the dog park tomorrow by 9 o'clock. That's when they let the little dogs in. I know you don't like me to call you a little dog, but I like your pillow. It says love. You want me to, you want me to sing you that song you like? <laughs> Rocket dog. Oh, he's so brave when he's running the halls, but he gets so shy when he's in front of the camera. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And I hope you have a wonderful brand new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see us, okay? Okay, it's a deal. Is that a deal? All right. It's a deal. See you in the morning.